Deixa explicar. O Indeca então é um boy aqui pra subir na vida. Garra a barriga do rico. Windep, ah, Windep, oh papá, Windep, ah, Windep, oh papá, ah. O Indec também são ah. aqueles juiz que só querem ah. damas de carteira ah. cheia. Windep, 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 ah. Windep, oh papá, Windep, ah. Mas como é, ui? O Indec então quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, hum, fica só já. Windep, 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 ah, Windep, oh papá, ah. Que são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Windep, ah, Windep, oh papá, Windep, ah, Windep, oh papá, ah. Windep que também são aqueles juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer business. Windep, ah, Windep, oh papá, 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 ah. Did Kilwanji offer you a job at the magazine? Yes, he invited me to work for Devo. And you accepted it? I told him I'll think about it. To think? To think? About what, Wilson? We don't even have money to make a poor blind man sing. Ophelia, I'm really not comfortable to work for Javier's company. Do you feel comfortable with what? To remain without money? Not even for petrol, bills, to dine out? Trust me, I'm not going to let that happen. Wilson, if you continue thinking like a philosopher, that's exactly what's going to happen. Please, Ophelia. Please what, Wilson? It's a job offered to you by Kilwanji. Kilwanji? Huh. Well, he doesn't even know he was going to be working with Devo. Javier is removing him from the post of editor-in-chief. Any reason for you not to accept the offer? Or are you going to decline an offer from your favorite nephew? Cuckoo, am I interrupting? No. Hi, Kiluanji. I know you don't want to talk about the meeting, but to me it's important for you to know that I'm on your side. First of all, I owe you an apology, Rosa. Mm, for goodness sake, isn't it? <laughs> I was very nervous when the meeting ended, and I was rude to you. I never thought about that. Everybody has the right to argue and explode. It's normal. Nothing personal. I know, my love. In a related matter, can I make a suggestion? Go for it. Why don't you and Cassia leave Luanda just for a few days? She told me you are both dining out tonight. You never really know. Leaving at this time? Yes. Go cool down your head and when you're back, you may find a way to turn around this situation. Hmm? I don't know, Rosa. To me, it's like abandoning sheep when it is starting to sink. Besides, I offered the job to my uncle. Did your father approve that? I'm still the chief editor of the magazine. I don't need my father's approval to hire somebody. Of course not. I'm still very much in charge of the magazine. But for that, I need to be in Luanda, okay? Marisa, this time my company will be launched into the market, right? Only you could have the idea of offering free catering in the opening of a shop. Soon everybody in Luanda will know about Mofete, huh? We won't be short of work, huh? If I was you, I wouldn't brag too much. It may reach Portugal and your wife will soon demand more money. That is for Petro. Ah, Celia is quite capable of doing that. It's been a long time since you spoke to Petro. I know things between the two of you aren't easy, but he's your son, Giorgio. Well, I'm going to go check this house. I know that the Petro affair is a difficult one for you. Sauce is nearly ready. But I know you are said to have such, such a cold and remote relationship between the two of you. Too far, 
too distant. Celia is the one who decided to take him to Portugal after the separation. Is it my fault? I'm not accusing you of anything, Giorgio. Celia boycotted my relationship with Pedro. She cares nothing about me, not an effort to speak to me, nothing. This matter is now closed. Don't insist, Ophelia. <gasps> it's an offense to decline a job offer under the situation you're in, Wilson. But I have not yet replied to Kulanji. So then talk, give an answer. For the sake of the future of our children. For the sake of my trips to Paris, Ophelia, London, Brazil, Ophelia. America! I told you I'm going to think about it. Tomorrow I speak to Kulanji. Tomorrow may be late. Until then, many tragedies may occur. And your life is full of them. Wilson, don't forget it's you who dropped us into this whole fiasco. <sighs> Call him. Call him now. Before he changes his mind about hiring you. Take it. Could you keep quiet for a second? Could you? Thank you. Wilson! Wilson! He might feel sorry for his cousins, isn't it? Poor cousins. Or might remember Shh. his... Hello, Kulanji. So, Uncle, have you thought about my offer? Yes, Kulanji. I must confess you caught me by surprise. But, uh... Yes, I've decided to accept it. Mm-hmm. You want to help me? And I need a job, isn't it? Uh, mm-hmm. That's right. When can I start? Come and see me tomorrow at the magazine. We will talk calmly and then arrange for everything. Now you're going to have to forgive me. I have to hang up. I've got a dinner. Oh, okay. Is it a business dinner? Or somebody interesting? Not really. But I've agreed. After today's meeting, the least I would want is my father's company. That will be the day. That old fat Wilson walking at Devo. Hmm. It would be easier to have Giselle Bunchen on the cover of the magazine. What a waste. To ban the scandals at a dinner with boring Kiluanji. So, now that I'm about to get rid of Kiluanji, I have to be his uncle? No, no, no. I'm going to deal with it right now. Mom, can I ask you a question? But no offense, okay? If it's an intelligent question. Are you sure you're going to be promoted to editor, Chief? That's one of the issues I'm going to clarify now. Mom, but I'm not in the least bit in a mood for this dinner with boring Kiluanji. Cassia, fix it. And I expect Kiluanji leaving this house with the official designation as your boyfriend. Do you understand? Do what you have to do. And preferably, perfect. That sauce is divan. You're being polite, eh? Hey? You know the sauce very well. Look, somebody's calling through the internet. But not even at dinner. Can I have some peace? Giorgio. Hi, Celia. I'm glad I can catch you. We have to talk about Pedro. Yes, and? I have received the job offer for the USA. What? Eh? And the problem is that I can't take Pedro along with me. Okay. I'm going to be very busy initially, and I'll be traveling a lot. But what exactly does that mean, huh? Pedro will have to stay with you in Luanda. Just repeat that. I'm not going to live in Angola. Pedro, come talk to your father. No. Please prepare for your son in Luanda. But Celia, it seems to me he doesn't agree with it, huh? Whether he likes it or not, he's going to live with you. We will talk later. Just wanted to advise you in advance.
looks wimpy. The lining is not in place. You're not bad. He's a bit big. You, yes. You're my charmed prince. Sorry about the delay. I longed for your arrival. Do you want to have dinner? That was the idea, wasn't it? I don't know. I thought it could go straight to the set. What do you think? Xavier, sorry a thousand times for coming here without notice. It can only be something urgent, Rosa. I need you to sign a document. It's a request to take photographs at the French Embassy. What can't you do with Kiliwanji tomorrow? Well, I should confess, there was one other reason for coming here. Ah, I thought so. It's for me, isn't it? You're going to offer Kiliwanji's position to me, not so? Rosa, I have the impression you are becoming a bit too anxious with the possibility of becoming the chief editor of the magazine. Javier, the magazine needs somebody who is updated with vision with leadership capacity. Someone like you? Yes, like me. Otherwise, I am afraid of what Kiluanji would do next. Why? Because Kiluanji is committing a lot of crazy things lately. Firstly, it was that disastrous function of Devo. Then, it was the hiring of your brother. What? Kiluanji must be crazy to hire my brother to work for Devo. Javier. I'm so sorry to bring up the matter. If I had known you'd get all emotional, I would not have come here. My brother is a failure, Rosa. Well, he is. But let's rather talk about the changes at Devo. Hmm? Didn't he own a company? What is his motivation for coming to work at Devo? Don't bother yourself with that now, Xavier. Oh, Rosa. Tell me, you're going to give me the post of editor-in-chief, right? Hmm? I'm going to take some measures, Rosa. I cannot let that loser work in my company to ruin my work. But listen, who are you calling? Guess who? I hope you're not calling Kiluanji because he's having dinner Rosa, with Kasia. Rosa, just stop it. Do you think I'm worried about your daughter? To our first dinner, away from all your worries, Devo, Devo's function. Kilo Andrew, I want to talk to you. What a serious conversation. Wait, it's my phone. You're not going to answer it, are you? What's this? Let me see who is calling. It's my father. You can talk later. What does he want? Hello. Kiliwanji, what is going on? What happened? How dare you offer work to your Uncle Wilson at Devo? Stay calm, Javier. Don't be excited. Watch your blood pressure. Dad, I'm at a dinner now. This is not a matter for us to discuss on the phone. So go home right now. But listen, why don't you deal with it tomorrow, huh? When you have calmed down. Look, Rosa, my patience has reached its limit. You've made your point, haven't you? So now get out. But I had no idea you didn't know about Wilson. I swear. I don't have anything more to say to you, Rosa. Hmm. Are you sending me off, Xavier? Yes. Ah. And what about the editor-in-chief position? That's enough on this subject, Rosa. Haven't you noticed I've other worries to be concerned with? See you tomorrow, Rosa. Aren't you eating some more? I'm not hungry, Marisa. 
My son's mother told me to put my son on a plane to Luanda, huh? She didn't even ask me for my opinion. You must try to talk things out with Celia. About what? You've heard what she said. She's going to the US and she cannot take Pedro. Just like that. Do I have anything to say here? Nothing. I know it's hard, but you have to take it easy. Who does she think she is, huh? Pedro was a child when she took him away from Angola. Now she wants to put him on a plane back to Rwanda, huh? I can understand how you're hurt, confused. I know he's my son. But, but you can't just mess with people's lives like that. It just isn't right. Remember when he used to live with us? What if you try and start talking to him? Didn't you see his reaction? He doesn't want to talk to me. Pedro is 15 years old. Put yourself in his shoes. At that age, he's naturally angry. You want to change his life upside down. It's hard to be happy like that. What about us, Marisa? Huh? I know it's horrible to say this. After 10 years, I'm not sure I'm ready to live with him. Huh? I really have to go, Cassia. Why can't you speak to your father or tomorrow? I'll call you later and then we'll think of something. Are you going to leave me alone here? Would a lobster order that for us? I'm sorry, but there are some matters I can't postpone. This one with my father is one of them. Cassia is going to be so sad. It's time to show Mr. Shafir I'm fed up. I can't stand being treated like an inconsequent teenager anymore. Do you understand? We'll talk later. Huh. You little boring man. Thank you, old lady of Mazima. Thank you very much. Tell me, how do you want me to treat you, Kiliwangi? Treat me like an adult, honest, responsible, and hardworking. But you are not like that, Kiliwangi. You go through life shooting yourself in the foot, mistake after mistake. First, the devil function fiasco, now hiring your Uncle Wilson. But I do trust him. Your uncle is an asshole. I'm still the chief editor of the magazine, like it or not. Chef, you never questioned my hirings. Don't do it this time. But just tell me the reason for hiring your Go uncle. Go ask him yourself. But I'm asking you. Is it so hard for you to call him? Maybe you have forgotten how to talk to him, isn't it? My relationship with my brother is my own. And I've, uh, your own business. I know. Since mama's gone, it has always been like that. What do you mean with that? You've been aloof from everything. And all from me. From Luena. Luena is not worth mentioning. Stop wondering. Have you ever wondered why she went to study in London and never came back? And Luena is living her life. Luena is just another example. An example of how you treat your family. Enough, Kiliwanji! To you. Hello, Mom. So how are things on your side? Well, the reason I'm calling is about Her Excellency, Madame Victoria. Listen, Mom, uh... Hold on, Mom. Someone is ringing at the door. Hi. Please don't tell me I forgot to give you a lift to the magazine. You can't imagine what happened. Hello, Mom. I have to leave. We'll talk later. Lots of love. Bye. What's wrong, my friend? It's Pedro, Giorgio's son. Something happened to him. His mother wants him to live with us. You heard me, Yuri. Celia is sending Pedro to come live with me. But so suddenly. You know that Celia has always done what she wants. When she wants, how she wants. That's why we've never agreed with each other. What about Pedro? How did he react? I think he rather wants to run away to Siberia than to live in Luanda. But what if he really comes? How are you going to cope? Teenagers are expensive. It's a difficult age. Yeah, I know, Yuri. The one thing I'm really sure of, this catering company has to succeed. And it's not for the money. It's rather for my own mental health. Why are you saying that? Because of Marisa. 
Can you imagine what it's like to have Pedro live with us? But what about her? How did she react? So and so. I saw Giorgio so worried. I only tried to calm him down. You will have to tell him how you feel about it. Firstly, I have to understand. It was all a show for me, Anna Maria. I can't imagine, my friend. But you must have done nothing but think about the matter. What is your conclusion? At this moment, to be honest, I don't even know if I want Pedro to come live with us. Oh, my friend, I understand. Obviously, I want Georgia to be on good terms with his son. I often insist that they call and talk to each other. But when I think of the kid living with us, I'm scared. Do you understand how I feel? I don't think I can do it. I understand. Having a teenager at home is no joke. Especially when he struggles to get along with his father. The idea itself causes me some confusion. Let's be honest. When I met Joshua, both his wife and son had already left Luanda. Yes, you are living with a man who had a child who was living far away. And every time he visited us, he was so unhappy. He made our lives difficult. I even pretended to ignore the kids' tantrums. They are bad relationship. The state at which Giorgio ended up. I see. You don't want it to carry on any longer than it has to. Especially when Pedro is refusing to come to live here. My dear, that shirt is giving you an important look. <laughs> ah, oh yes. And I asked Celia to iron your favorite suit. It wasn't necessary. It is. You can't pitch up at work on your first day looking like an ordinary office clerk. Look at the picture of these girls in the magazine. They're practically naked. Oh, the horror. I don't even know what Kulanji is employing me for. I have no idea. The position must be important. If I was the mother of one of these skinny girls, I would die of shame. My God. And remember, you're the favorite uncle of Kilwanji. Hmm, only uncle. He'll probably place me in a department that is badly managed, where he needs someone trusted by him. Hmm, you're practically like a father to Kilwanji. So that would mean you get a corner office with a desk that is enormous. But don't even think of looking at one of these skinny girls who run around the magazine half naked. Mm. Be patient, Ophelia. Hmm. To Luigi. Has she left for school? Not yet. She's just finishing preparing. I'm even scared to have breakfast. Hmm. You go without eating, at least you won't become fat. It's your fault. All because of that cousin Ravish you attended will be punished. Don't worry, my little brother. I if shouldn't worry. By daddy, it will all go well. Don't worry. It will all go well until mom knows about it. Hmm. We were lucky that daddy has other matters to talk to mom about when she arrives home. Kit, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. Daddy. Before you start, I want to apologize once again for what happened yesterday, before you get too upset. But you know I always wanted to become a model. Ha, you think you can do it in a hidden way? Not really, but have you imagined how much I can earn? I can help you and mom with your financial problems as well. I already told you that the financial problem of our family are strictly my business. There's no place for a lie. You missed school, and on top of it, you took your brother along. You didn't tell mom, did you? Not yet. Please, Dad, don't tell mom anything. You know how much she hates the idea of me becoming a model, don't you? She only lets me wear a mini skirt when she's in a good mood. Please, Daddy, if mom finds out about it, she's going to take the TV, games, sound equipment, and Please, CDs away Daddy, from us. Just leave it between us. It will be our secret, okay? What do you think? Thanks. It was a tragic night. That's what it was. Mommy, please don't be so dramatic. <sighs> Javier didn't assure me that I would assume the management of Devo. Your dinner with Kiluanji was nothing more than an appetizer. Thank God. 
Honestly, I've even enjoyed it. Mom, Kilimanjaro is as exciting as a snail's race. After 10 minutes, it was already yawning. Cassia, but this can't remain like that. You better start thinking about your next move. He said he would call me, Mom. Now I just have to wait. Wait is one word. It's one word that doesn't exist in my dictionary. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mom. The word is now to think. Think of how you are going to keep the Kiluanji situation alive. You have to go for it, Cassia. Okay, Mom, okay. I promise I will work out something to make you happy, okay? I just hope the visit to Xavier's house served some purpose and that useless Wilson will not be working at the magazine. It may not all have been lost. Aren't you having breakfast? I'm not really hungry. Sulking is not the characteristic of a real man. When people feel hurt, they stay away from those who hurt them. If your problem is your Uncle Wilson, you can relax. He can stay at Devo. Really? But on one condition. Why am I not surprised with that? I decide what he's going to do. <sighs> Very well. And what is going to be my uncle's position? Stock manager? It's a position from my father. But what does this mean? In practice, what must I do? Above all, to organize. To organize what? Everything. That is, essentially all the office stationery. Also to take care of some of the props in the fashion shows. Let's be frank. What your father wants is to send me to the warehouse. Between rims, papers, boxes. Isn't that right? I don't know what to say, uncle. I'm trying to help you. Ugh. But there's little else I can do. I have my days numbered here. I'm not even thinking of demanding anything from you, Kilowandri. But stock manager. I know that's a horrible thing to say. But with the financial problems you face, I think it's better than nothing. <sighs> I know. So what's our deal? Sorry to push you, uncle. I need an answer from you to talk to the financial manager, Artur. He's the one who deals with the contracts, salaries, all those things. So, what's our deal? Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Mr. Artur. Any message or mail for me? I'll go and check right now. So, and your sister Victoria? Any news from her? When you reached my house, I was talking to my mother. Is everything okay in Mexico? I ended hanging up without finding out. I'll have to call her tonight. Good morning. Who's this young lady? A new model? No, no. Some family matters. Do you know where's Hinder? I have the photographs for the report on the jewelers that I need to give to him. I have no idea. I didn't even see him this morning. Don't tell that Don Juan, the second class, didn't sleep at home. He must have met some rich woman and got involved with her. You know what happens. And uh, he can smell Kwanzaa's miles away. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh. Hey. But where are you? Princess? Oh, my darling. Are you there in the bathroom, love? Until next time. Oh, this beach has left. Oh, I'm late. I'm gonna have to hurry now. Excuse me? Yes. I need the contact number of a florist here in Luanda. Yes, madam. I want to send flowers to someone very special. Just a moment, sir. Me? Yes, you, sir. I'm sorry. You must pay for the room. 
What? The lady that stayed with you has left and told us you would pay the bill. Oh dear, now I'm in trouble. I'll kill that Priyanya, I swear. Excuse me, but I was here before he came in. Yes, madam. Wait a minute. I know you. You must be mistaken. Please give me the florist's contact details. Certainly. He will soon pay his bill. I can remember you. I never forget a beautiful face. You are Anna Maria's sister, aren't you? This could be the one. No. Forget it. Looks more like a serial flower model. What about this one? Horrible. This magazine is not for the blind. Oh no, Yuri wouldn't. But the public loves him. His face is more than overused. Hmm, this one looks good. He has at least some energy, some virility. Yes, it can be him. So then, let's turn to the woman. No. No. Forget it. Old. Finished. Mm, open that one down there. I know. No elegance. <sighs> and who's this one? Ah, this is that young girl that came with her brother. She doesn't have a composite, but it's a new face. It could work, but it may probably be too risky. She has no experience. Mm, it's better not. Rosa, if you think she might be interesting, why don't you give her a chance? I have some doubts about her. She was supposed to leave her contact details. Why not try her? Even if we have to take some more shots before the production. Let's see. Nadir. Did one of the girls in yesterday's casting leave her contact with you? Yes, that's the one. The one with the irritating brother. This time we are true. I told you that we were going to convince Dad. He'll not tell Mom. Now let's see if you are going to forget the idea of becoming a model. Because this is going to get us in trouble. Look at him. This kid is not yet growing a mustache. And he wants to ruin my life. Really? How will Lukeni grow up? I just don't want to be punished because of you. And if Mommy dreams that you have been involved in castings, she will kill you and me. Do you know what your position will be now? What is expected from you? Any more questions, uncle? Well, I'd like to know how much I'm gonna earn. Artul, please, if you don't mind. Here's our proposal. Is this some kind of joke? Huh? Mrs. Rosal, here's the number you asked for. Thank you. Now, well, let's talk to Miss Luigi. It must be our first work. She's going to be hysterical. Hello? Is that Luigi's house? Yes. Yes, but she's not in. Who is it, Sila? It's a lady. She wants to speak to Luigi. Ah, give me that. Hello? This is Luigi's mother speaking. It's from the Devo magazine. From the Devo magazine? But who's talking? Actually, do you know who you're speaking to? With Ophelia Voss. Oh, yes. Ophelia. This is Rosa Bettencourt. It's just to let you know that your daughter was selected for a casting. And she's going to do a fashion production this month. Casting? A fashion production? What are you talking about? Listen, 
I know you are Anna Maria's colleague at Women Dubai. are really crooks, man. No offense, okay? But how am I going to pay the room now? My sister should never know you saw me here. Do you understand me? It's funny. I heard her saying you returned to your homeland. What are you doing here? What if you just stop playing smart guy and listen to my offer? Shoot, my friend. I'm listening. I will solve your problem and you'll not cost me another. Say that again in other words. I will pay your bill. If? In return, you would not tell Anna Maria you saw me here. Okay, okay, I get it. You pay my bill in return for me keeping my mouth shut, right? It may be the start of a wonderful friendship. So what do you think? Yes, I understood everything. But for your information, Luigi is not doing any fashion production, neither this month nor the next millennium. Is it? Well, then you know what next time. Just don't let her go to a casting. You ignorant. Wasting my time. What's wrong? Her daughter slipped into a casting and without the permission of her parents. No way she's going. But what was she thinking? That they wouldn't ever find out? But you don't want to know the worst. She is Javier's niece. Okay. <laughs> She's the daughter of that Christmas tree Ophelia and that boring Wilson Voss. How did I not recognize her? This amount is ridiculous, Kulwanji. You're forcing me to review your offer. I'm not allowed to go beyond that amount. I know it's not a fortune, Uncle, but I'm trying to help you as best as I can. And the offer was discussed with Mr. Xavier. He gave me direct instructions not to exceed that amount. I can understand you want to think about it, but without pressing you too much, there's something I need to ask you. Say it. I need a reply by today, by the end of today. Sila? Sila? Sila! Sila! Yes, Mrs. Ophelia, I'm here. Why don't you listen when I call you, you lazy slug? Call Abraham for me now! But are you leaving? No, I'm going to have tea with Abraham. Of course I'm leaving, what do you think? I'm sorry, it's just that I thought that I could. I don't pay you to think, Celia. Go do your work. Call Abraham because I'm leaving. I need to go fetch my kids from school. Yes, madam. Please get the door. Good afternoon, Mr. Javier. How are you? Javier. What an unexpected surprise. Do tell, what brings you to these parts? Uh, it's my favorite sister-in-law. Well, very well. Uh, if you've come to speak to your brother, Wilson is not here. What if I came to speak to you? With me? Yes, I have something serious to talk about. With regard to the hotel bill of this gentleman, charge it to my account. Yes, madam. And don't worry, I'm not absconding. Hmm. As soon as I get my new documents, I'll settle everything. Here is the flourish contact as you requested. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you, friend. By keeping your mouth closed. Just don't tell Anna Maria that you saw me here. Don't worry, I'll be like a mommy. But if you need any help, just shout, okay? I like to reward my friends. Actually, there is something else you can do for me. Now? Tell me what is it then. You're working at TV, and there is somebody there that interests me very much. Who? Kilowanji. The boss? You're bored, hey? Tell me what you want. Preferably everything. Who he dines with, sleeps with, who he dates. Wait a moment. Were those flowers for him? Can I count on you or not? I told you you can count on me. But if I am to be an informer, then I must be rewarded. Don't you think so? And you'll be. If you do a good job. My dear friend, I'm a journalist. I like concrete answers. Then understand one thing. 
I am going to improve my life. It's just a matter of time. And whoever is on my side will be rewarded. Mm. Do you understand? Ophelia, tell me exactly what happened to Wilson's company. Xavier, are you sure you don't want to have a drink? I have told you no. Now, please don't try to change the subject. Sorry, I was just trying to be polite. If Kiliwanji offered a job to Wilson, it's because Wilson needed a job. And if a businessman needs a job, it is because his business has been liquidated. If you have all the answers, why did you bother to come here asking questions? I know you very well, Ophelia. Oh, now I'm confused. It's obvious you're on the verge of bankruptcy, sooner or later. But let me be very clear and listen carefully. I will not give you one more answer. Xavier, did you come all the way here to tell me that? <laughs> you know something?